Well, it's another day, another AC install. At least today is sunny. <clears throat> see if Mike's here. Oh, Mike's Mike's here. And his bag's here. Let's see, does he have it cut out? Does he have it pumped down? What has he got going on here? A whole bunch of nothing. So, uh, let me go get this thing pumped down. Grab my gauges. Or my tool bag. Set you guys on a brick. So this one's from 2000. just got here before I did that's why this isn't done yet This one, it's got a leak in it. Somewhere, probably the evaporator. Oops, wrong one. Testing, testing, where are you at? Ooh, that's scary. Oh, that's really scary. <gasps> I didn't notice that. Dude, it's hot wired. Oh, yeah. yeah that's great. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. Is that a ground? Hopefully. Stupid. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's hot wired. Because they lost the disconnect or the pull out and they hot wired it. That's sweet. Luckily, I didn't start taking apart the electrical. <laughs> Let me go find the breaker. Well, we got another disconnect over here. That wire down there matches. 
I got, a, I got a crazy dog here. Crazy dog, yeah. So, these are 25s. Let's go see over there. Dog wants to play. Where's your ball? Hey, Mike. See if you got power there. So they think there's a disconnect out here on the side. I think the wire matches. I got a dog attacking me. <laughs> Dog's crazy. I walked into the house because no one was answering, and that thing seen me, and it came running at me. And yeah. Yeah, she's, she's like all over me. Oh man, scratch my back, doggy. Scratch my back. <laughs> Doug, scratch my back. No, no power? Alright. Alright, so this is what we got going on. Just kind of tucked up in there. We'll have to chop these off. Get those out of the way. Not much light, not much room back here. <clears throat> so we'll get the coil out, get the new coil dropped on top. We'll get our metal figured out. All right, I'm going to have to figure out how to balance it up here. Freaking train wreck. I got no place, no place to put you. I guess that's going to have to work. So we got the pipes cut. <clears throat> Coils cut out. I gotta get this box out of here. I don't know. How the heck? How the heck they even got it on here? it's a two inch screw in a tight spot originally the water heater oh, I can't see I'm blinded originally the water heater wasn't there <coughs> When this customer, this furnace was installed when the customer had bought the house. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and then they hired us. <coughs> they had an 80 gallon electric. Mike's making so much noise. They had an 80 gallon electric in the other room, water heater. <coughs> and he wanted it gas. So we had the, <coughs> we had the, uh, chimney from the old furnace so I took everything and moved it in here 
ran <clears throat> ran new gas line and uh, ran some packs over so I did that for the customer but let's see let's see if we can get this apart I think it's just taped How did they do that? They got a screw in the back of it. Can I fit my driver back there? Yes, I can. Hey, yeah. I got white, black, and red in my ground, so I'm just using black and red. For what? Wait, what are we talking about? High voltage? Yeah, the the power coming from the panel to my disconnect. I have white, red, and black, and my ground. Well, I mean, one one wire, one wire wasn't being used. Which wire wasn't being used? The white and red were being used, but the black wasn't. Okay. Well, you're going to have to double check over if you go in the backyard. You're going to have to double check that disconnect by uh, the what you want to call it, the meter. All right, I'll do that. Just double check. Jeez, oh, peace. No. Basically, it was just taped on there. Get that screw in there. We got a screw back here. Oh man, they got screws back there. Oh boy. back there and get this done okay so we got the old coil out hey there's a, there's a screw there still is a screw there and we'll get the new coil in
fingers, no play. Oh, that thing's crooked as hell. Shit. Four. Yeah, I can make that work straight. Some metal made. I think I'm gonna do a canvas and a short, stubby piece because I don't think that other one's gonna work. No, it falls short by an inch. So, and it doesn't have a canvas in here to begin with, so it should have a canvas. So I get a canvas made and a little stubby piece. And we'll go from there. No, take that back. That's not going to happen. Got to get that piece off of there. So I'll put the canvas here and then have a transition down. That's going to work better instead of trying to because within that small like two inch piece i gotta come over that far and it's not gonna happen so that piece has got to be remade that piece got to be remade so we'll do that i'll just call it into the shop and get it made up like i said i ain't got nowhere to set you so we're going to start brazing this coil in. I got my metal measured up, sent to the shop, putting the canvas in, short 10 piece, 10 inch piece of metal. Hopefully I got enough oxygen and acetylene to get through this. Having gauge problems. Let's see. got dirt in my tip hold on it dirt in my tip sounds like a personal problem huh
hopefully I'm not running out of oxygen. We got the suction light and I gotta fit up the liquid line. Let me get the filter dry. Okay. So we already had the vacuum pump on it, pulled it down to 500 microns. <clears throat> Our line set is from here to there. It's right outside the what you want to call it. We got our canvas in there. That plenum sits up there a little wonky, so this needs a little long shorter on this side got it sealed up instead of doing a small piece that would have looked like crap or couldn't even make it because this is four inches over that's three quarters <clears throat> got the condensate line done down the condensate pump I'm gonna put these back together up there geez some peas there oh jeez Mike Mike's got this gelatinous shit
Yikes. It's the only thing we had. <clears throat> Extra goopy for your pleasure. It's prime. Start. I gotta get a filter. Gotta get a filter. filter and we'll start this puppy up get some pressures giving it the cock yeah I just cocked this hole now about to throw the fuses in what's up and then do we got the power on on the other one I gotta go put that uh, disconnect in there all right let me go put that disconnect in and we'll hook the gauges up and get it running she's already calling Oh, you know, it probably would help to turn the furnace on downstairs, huh? It's funny. I know this is less than 15 feet of line set. We don't have a leak. And it states in the manual it's pre-charged for 15 feet of line set. And I'm low. How is that possible? And no subcooling. Let me let it run, but it's looking low. Because I need 10 degrees of subcooling. Ain't gonna make it. Maybe five or four. It's funny, the homeowner's trimming comes by the air conditioner. And already, already it needs to be washed. 
There's Mike's handiwork out here. Quality work. We just reused the old pad. We're good to go. Had to add refrigerant. Man, that's a third install this week. I'll become an installer. What the heck? But whatever. I don't really care. I get paid by the hour. It don't matter to me. It don't matter what I do. I just come to work. Um, so that took us about three and a half hours just due to the fact is I had to wait for sheet metal. Um, but I popped that sheet metal on there and fit like nothing. Piece of cake. Uh, Mike had everything done outside. I did not touch anything outside besides pumping it down and that's it. Mike, Mikey did the rest. Um, I did everything inside. He did the condensate drain. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's all he did was condensate drain. I did the rest in the inside. So, it helps when you got two guys that kind of know what they're doing. It makes the day go by faster. One guy can handle one side, the other guy can handle the other. It makes it a different story, say, if you would to have a lead installer and a new guy. That becomes tiresome. But what can, what can you do? you got to teach a new guy what to do. But that came together pretty good, straightened everything out, you know, got the coil on the furnace. Um, it's got a lot better airflow now. Uh, it doesn't have to go, uh, that, that ICP coil was a little smaller, not by much. Well, other than that, it came out great. Can't complain. Um, well, that's it for this one. You guys know what you need to do. Like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.